Welcome back everyone. Over the past 30 videos, we had a look at the fundamentals of Formic as well as a few properties and methods that could come in handy based on the form requirement. But what we still need is a clear picture of how we can put it all together and write code that can be deployed to production. So what we are going to do for this second half of the series is build a set of reusable formic controls that can then be applied across a variety of forms such as registration, login and so on. We are going to break this down and take one step at a time. In this video, we are going to start off by creating a formic container component that we will use to test the other components we will be creating in the subsequent videos. This component is basically a simple formic wrapper which we will see in a bit. In the next video, we are going to talk about a common formic control component that is capable of rendering the different types of form elements. Once we have that out of the way, we will dive into the core form elements which are input, text area, select dropdown, radio buttons, checkboxes, and date picker. Once we have all these in place, we will see how to put together a user registration form, a user login form, and a course enrollment form. This will give you a really good idea of all the six input types along with a few validations and of course, form submission. Lastly, we will see how to use a UI component library with our reusable forming controls. With this in mind, let's begin. To get us started, you can see that I have already created a brand new project using Create React app. I have also installed Formic and Yup. So in package.json, you can see Formic and Yup. In the app component, I have removed any unnecessary JSX. Now, within the source folder, I'm going to create a new folder called components. Within this folder, I'm going to create a new file called formiccontainer.js. In this file, I'm going to use the snippet rfce to create a function component. Next, we are going to add the necessary code to create a form with formic. So at the top, I'm going to import formic and the form components from the formic library. I'm also going to import the yup library. Import star as yup from yup. Next, within the component, I'm going to declare initial values, which is an empty object for now. I'm also going to declare validation schema, which is equal to yup.object with an empty object as its argument and also the on submit function which simply logs the form values. For the JSX, we're going to return the formic component with the render props pattern. So formic component, then function as children, and the function automatically receives props which we are going to call as formic. This will then return the form component. Within the form component, we will add a submit button. And on the formic component, we specify the three props. Initial values is equal to initial values. Validation schema is equal to validation schema and on submit is equal to on submit. Let me quickly format this and then in app.css for some basic styling I'm going to add some styles similar to the YouTube form project. You can copy this from my github repo. Finally in app.js I'm going to include the formic container component. And that is pretty much the project setup we need to get started. In the next video, 
let's take a look at another component that is needed as part of our reusable farming components project. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.